Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back you guys. <laughs> I did some vintage shopping. I went a little crazy and I am super excited to share with you what I picked up. So today I have a very fun shop with me and haul to share with you. To start out with, on um, this last Saturday I got together with a friend of mine um, and we went to a barn sale. It's actually in my town and I did not even know about it. They have a sale two or three times per year and I had no clue. But my friend, who's in the know, told me about it and she's like, we gotta go. So I said, hello, yeah, I'm a coming. So we went to this barn sale bright and early in the morning. It was super cold, but they had super good deals and it was so much fun. Um, it was basically, a combination of like vintage items and like handmade items so there was a good combination of both types of things and the prices were really really good so I did that and then I we spent about an hour maybe an hour and a half shopping there and then we was separate when then we went our separate ways and on the way home I was like you know what I've been wanting to go to this antique store that was in Hopkins Minnesota called the pink elephant um, YouTube friend of mine, Clay Ramage, um, has a booth there, I believe. And so I've been wanting to go check it out. So I'm like, I'm already out. I'm going to go check it out. So I ended up in Hopkins, Minnesota, went to the Pink Elephant, which just happened to be next to another um, antique store and another one and another one. So I went a little hog wild at the antique stores. Um, I thought most of the prices were pretty good at most of the places. One place I went into was like super swanky antique and I didn't get anything there <laughs> because the prices were way over what I want to pay but I found some amazing things I meant to record at the barn at the barn sale but I was so excited I totally forgot to record but I have like a little clip of the barn basically to share with you and then we hop into the pink elephant shop along with me so let's go ahead and share with you the footage that I took for me shopping at the antique store and then I'll come back and share with you all the great stuff that I found so enjoy yesterday there was some
So I can't remember what I spent on everything that I picked up at the sale because they take the tags off of everything, which I totally understand, but it doesn't help me for when I get home and try to figure out how much, you know, what everything was to share with you guys. So if I remember exactly what the price is on something, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I don't know. Um, at the barn sale, I spent a total of $34, which I thought was pretty awesome. So, so the first thing to share with you that I got at the barn sale was a cute little apron. And it looks like this. Isn't it adorable? I love how it lays. Like it's like flirty and, you know, it's got a nice little ruffle to the bottom of it. I think that is so cute. And then it's got this nice little lace on it. And then the pocket itself has a cute little lace around it as well. And I love that it's in like this. Is this Arganza? I can't remember the name of this. It's not like Muslim. It's, you know, seriously like that. I think it's Arganza. It's Garganza. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, but that's what this is. And I just thought this was absolutely adorable. It's pretty small. So I think it's, you know, like kind of more of like a cocktail sort of apron, like a hostess of wear, I think, sort of thing. At least that's what I've seen in movies. <laughs> so anyways, uh, that's what I'm going with. All right, so then the next thing I found was a wood-handled kitchen utensil for my collection. And this is a little vegetable peeler, which I do not have. So I thought that was pretty awesome to add to my collection of wood handled red utensils. I think that is so fun. And then this next item is super cool too. It is a, it says a 50 pound household scale. It looks like this. And then it's got a little hook on the end so you can weigh your things and you hang it. Isn't that cool? I gotta find a place to hang this in my kitchen. I think this would be so fun. I was actually thinking, I wonder if it would work as a banana hook. Do you know how they have those little banana hook things that are basically look like this? If I could hang my bananas on there, that would be so fun. So anyways, I thought this was super cool. And of course, I loved that it had the red writing on it. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so then the next item I found, so then the next two items I found were actually some, some tins. I'm always on the lookout for tins and it's kind of hard for me to find um, at thrift stores. Um, so I normally have to rely on antique stores for tins. Um, I picked up this little black one. It's got gold writing on the front. If you can see that. And it says John Middleton's Pipe Smokers Kit. And it's got this really cool like crest on the front of it. And I liked the black and gold. I think that was really pretty. And it's a nice little tin, either used as a riser or stack on top of other tins, that sort of thing. And I think it is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the winter time, like after Christmas, when I take down all my Christmas decor, I like to do a black and white theme. So I'm always on the lookout for like black tins to use as risers and you know decorative stuff. All right, so then I found another tin, and I thought this one was absolutely beautiful. It looks like this. It's got these gorgeous red roses on it. It's got some gold detailing. And then the top is really cool too. And then look at this on the side. It's got these cute little handles. Isn't that just adorable? I love this so much. Love that it's got the gold on it with the black and then of course the red roses on it. I mean, this is like absolute perfection for me. So I can do black and brass, red and white all mixed together and I think it'll just be gorgeous. So I was very happy to find both of those tins. So I have one more thing that I found at the barn sale and this one I remember it was only like $7 and it is another <laughs> oil lamp. You guys, I can't believe it. I've been seeing a lot of oil lamps lately and I have been like not getting them but this one was only $7 and it had the chimney so I was like, I cannot pass this up. It's gorgeous. It's like a pretty small one. It's like the smallest one I have, except for that little miniature one that I have um, for as the container. But I love that it's got the little pedestal. I think that is so cool. And then, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Let me take this off real quick. 
Um, what I wanted to share with you was this. This one I think is probably my oldest one that I have. Just because the way the prongs are, they look pretty old to me. But anyways, I just thought this was super cool. So of course, I could not pass this guy up to add to my collection. <laughs> so from there, I went to Hopkins. And at this point, things get to be a blur and I cannot remember where I picked what up from. So I'm just gonna start on one side of the table here and go to the other side of the table. But needless to say, I found some amazing things. So the first thing I found was another little tin, but this is a nice little red one for my red and white cubby shelf. I think it is so cool. It's a little tobacco tin. I think that is so neat. It says Caven A Virginia Cigarettes, and I think it is so cool. So that is pretty neat. I'm loving that. And then I found myself another pair of scissors. These are red-handled scissors, you guys. This is like the holy grail of scissors that I've been looking for. Um, they look like this. They're just your basic, you know, vintage pair of scissors, but with the fantastic red handle. Oh, I love these. I absolutely love these. These will probably, like most of my scissors like this, go downstairs into my craft area. These, I think, I'm gonna keep upstairs to put at my desk here in the kitchen. These are mama's special scissors. Because <laughs> I have been looking for red-handled ones for years. This is the first one I've found. Super excited about that. All right, so then I found these. I think these are super adorable. Hopefully I'll be able to share with you them without, um, these are 250, so is the tag on. And they're little vintage cupcake toppers. And they have these cute little clown faces and little hats. Isn't that adorable? There's four of them in there. And I love collecting these little guys. They are so much fun. I have a few other ones. I have some like balloon clusters and things that were from my mother that we used to use on our cupcakes when I was little. So I think these are kind of fun. So I'm kind of looking for little different like um, Christmassy ones and stuff like that. But they didn't have any Christmas ones, but my daughter Jo is obsessed with clowns. So I thought these would be perfect. So for her Chris, for like for her birthday or something, I can make her a little clown cupcake. So I thought that was cute. All right, so then the next thing I picked up, oh my, I didn't realize I picked up two of them, but that's all right. Um, they had like old documents. They were a dollar each. So I picked them up thinking it'd be kind of fun to just like frame them because the writing on them is so beautiful. This one... Oh, this is like a satisfaction of mortgage. But just look at the writing on it. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I thought that was pretty cool. One of these, I believe was from Wisconsin, which is why I wanted to get it. But, so then the other one is a land contract. There we go. And this is pretty cool too. So it doesn't have as much writing on it, but this is the one that was from Wisconsin. So it even has like the Wisconsin seal on there. You're probably not gonna be able to see it. You can definitely feel it. But anyways, I just thought this would be kind of fun. Something to do. Um, I'll probably make a craft with one of these and then the other one I'll probably frame up. Like it'd be fun to actually like, I don't know, I don't know. I was thinking it would be fun to use these if I did frame them up just to like in the back of a hutch or on a shelf or something as like a backdrop for other things. Just a little something special to like put in the background. That's kind of what I was thinking. So anyways, I'd never come across any of those in real life. So when they were like a dollar each, I had like 20 of them to choose from. So I sat there for quite a while trying to figure out which one to get. But I picked the one that was the most scrolly print and had the most print on it was the one and then the other one I got because it had Wisconsin on it because, you know, I'm from good old Wisconsin. So, all right, so then <laughs> the next thing I got was a stack of these old pictures. Um, and I have an idea for these, but I just thought these were super cute. I loved this one 
because they it was a white one, which is very rare. Oh, well, normally I see them in darker colors, but look at this cutie in there. Oh my goodness. So anyways, I just thought that was cool. And this was like, this little one I think was only a couple dollars. But then the bigger ones, I think they chose, um, they were like $3 each, except for the biggest one they charged me for. So anyways, my idea for these was to... I loved, I went through a whole bunch of these as well, looking for ones that looked very Art Deco-y kind of, and I love these because they've got the little stand, built-in stand, and look at this, just the frame around it. it, is so cool, and I love her outfit, and her hair, and I just think it's really cool. So, some of these I just got because I think they're cool, I like the picture in there, and um, but the other reason, and then I got another one. This one's the largest one. This one has a handsome gentleman in it. And once again, I really liked the design on the frame area itself. I think that is so cool. And then I picked up one more. Oh, wait, two more. <laughs> this one right here, another gentleman right there and finally oh my goodness I thought this one was the coolest one ever look at the front of this can you see that it's got such detailing and then even here it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so and this one I thought was really neat the frame itself is really really neat so yeah so I know that my mom has a collect, you know, has old photographs and stuff like that of like my descendants. Um, but I don't have any that are actually in these frames. So my thought was I could use these frames and get a reproduction of the pic pictures that are, you know, like of my own family and put them in here because this one for sure, you can open up and you can put the picture in there. Um, hopefully I can take it out without ruining it because it does look like someone did try to do that at one point. But worst case scenario, what I'm thinking I can do is take an X-Acto knife and cut around it and get it out and put in my own photos. <laughs> You know, so I just thought that would be really cool to have like a little collection of these with really cool frames that I could either put downstairs or like on my dresser in my bedroom because I'm wanting to do a, you know, more kind of a vintagey vibe in my bedroom. And I thought this would be perfect way to add that vintage vibe to it. It'd be really cool to get some pictures of my girls in black and white and put them in these. So hopefully it will work out. If it doesn't work out, that's all right, I can just use the pictures that are here, which would be fine too for the, get the point across. <laughs> so anyways, I thought those were pretty cool. I'm super excited about that little project, so I need to get working on that. So anyways, all right, moving on. All right, so moving on, I have fallen in love with another clock, and it looks like this. It is gorgeous. It is white clock, which I love. I like its little feet. It's got the nice little shape to it. And I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, what does it say on it, folks? I don't know. I can't read it. It's a Lux. It says... There's no other markings on it. But I am putting this probably... Maybe not... Uh, it's probably not 40s. Maybe 50s, 60s maybe. I don't really know much about how to. But it is plastic. And this very much reminds me of a radio that I have. And that was for sure in the 50s I think. So anyways, I love this. I don't have too many of the, of the plastic kind of um, clocks. So whenever I see nice vintage ones, I will pick them up. All right, so then I did find a few Christmas items because that was my goal for going there, just look for some vintage Christmas items. 
One of the things that I have been obsessed with, just trying to reproduce in a vintage style, are Christmas corsages. I think that is such a fun thing. I wish that that, that little trend would come back because I think that it would be so much fun. Well, I was at one of the, uh, the antique stores and I actually, there was two corsages. They were, they had two um, corsages. I guess that's a hard word to say. They had two of them for sale. And one of them I absolutely fell in love with because it has bells on it. So I went ahead and bought it. And I think it is so cool. It looks like this. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got the little red bells on it. Cute little satin red ribbon. Some little ornaments. Some little, I don't know what these things are. And then the whole thing's set on these foil leaves. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this. Um... I'd almost be afraid to wear it though, but oh, you guys, I totally want to wear it for Christmas. <laughs> so I'm loving it. And like I said, I think it'll be so much fun to reproduce things like this and to like totally bring back that cutesiness that is corsages for like special occasions like Christmas and Easter. And I don't know. I just think they're cool. I've always been obsessed with them and I think that is cool. Then I went to one booth and one of the stores, I can't remember which store it was, but they had a whole stack like this tall of vintage handkerchiefs. I just about fainted on the floor. Um, they were a little spendy, but I didn't care because I totally wanted some. Um, I think I spent like I think they were ranged between like five and eight dollars, which isn't terrible. Um, but I did end up picking up three of them. <laughs> so the first one I picked up looks like this. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got the poinsettias on it. Oops. It's got the poinsettias on it that I love in the red and white. It's got a little angel here. It's got some bells and some little ornaments along the way. And then I love that the middle was filled in as well. It's got little snowflakes and then it's got these little bows. And I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I just thought it was so, so, so pretty. So I had to pick it up. And then I found another one that was very similar to it. So I kind of felt like I should get it also. Um, <laughs> So I picked this one up as well. And this one, once again, has got the poinsettias on it. And then it's got this nice little grid in the middle with these cute little poinsettias and starbursts in white. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? And now look at that. I love the edging too where it's not just flat and straight across. It's scalloped. That's so pretty. Then the poinsettias. And then here's in the middle, it's got holly berries. The poinsettias and then the little starburst kind of like snowflake things. Oh, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then I picked up one more because <laughs> this one had bells on it. And you guys know how much I love the bells, like their vintage bells and the vintage candles. I'm gaga over both of those. So I picked up this one because look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then the whole thing has got little bells all over it. It's got a nice little scalloped edge with, core, you know, red around it. And I am in love with this. I think this would be so cute. Hanging over a basket edge with the little bells hanging out. I think that would be so fun. So anyways... This bell one for sure, I don't know, but he's keeping out for, you know, like putting over baskets or over the side of a shelf or something like that. The other two, I thought about framing and hanging like in my bathroom or, you know, some small little area that I don't necessarily decorate, but it'd be fun to add a little something. But then on the other hand, I have seen where people take handkerchiefs like this and they sew them onto the front of pillows. And I think that would be super duper pretty with these two because they've got the design all the way around. You know what I mean? There isn't a spot on it that doesn't have a design. 
So I kind of like that for that. I don't know if I'll get to that this year because I really have never done anything like that. And I think it's going to require a lot of hand sewing. And I'm not the best at hand sewing. So anyways, so that is my ideas for those. I love them. All right, I have three more items to share with you. I know this video is getting long. I apologize, but I hope you guys will stay with me because I am now going to show you like my ultimate favorite three things that I picked up. These are my absolute favorites from the whole day. If I had gone and just gotten these three things, I would have been a very, very happy girl. But of course, I bought everything else, and so now I'm like super duper happy. <laughs> All right, so this next item is something that I have been looking for for a very long time. I found an orange one for my daughter at the thrift store, and I think I paid like $10 for it. Well, I kept finding these all day yesterday in various colors, but I only found two of these in this color, and it is a vintage telephone. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this one. Now, I kept finding ones that were white, but they had the buttons on the front still. I didn't want the buttons. I wanted to have the little turny thing on it. So I held out for that. I also did find some red ones. There was one red one that was like falling apart and they wanted like $68 for it. I'm like, oh, no, thank you. But then I went to a different store and I found like five other ones, but no white ones. They had black ones, they had a red one. So I almost got the red one and I'm like, no, I'm gonna hold out and I'll go to the next store and see if they've got a white one. And they had two white ones. The one white one that they had was a little more discolored. Like the base didn't match the handle, like this part. So I kind of passed on that one. But then I found this one. And this one actually, I believe, is European. I could be wrong. Because it has this funky looking plug on it. I could be wrong. But I have never seen a plug like that before. So, anyways, I thought this was super cool. I did pay $25 for it, which I think I know is probably a little high. But I have also think it's a rather good price as well because it's very hard to find them at the thrift store and then to be the color that you want. So I splurged on this and got myself a white phone. So excited. Hello. Love it. Speaking of loving something, you guys, I found myself a new scale. Well, it's not a new scale. It's a very old, rusty, gorgeous scale. And this one I know for a fact was $15. It looks like this. Oh my gosh. I am in love. Absolutely in love. I already have one scale and I've had it for years and years and years and years. But I really loved the Art Deco look of this one, how it's all nice and square. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but look at that. It has red numbers. Oh, you guys, it is absolutely perfect. It still works, I think. Oh, yep, you can still push it down, which is cool. So I am loving this. It is very beat up. Look at the top and the sides. Well, the sides aren't quite so bad, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I was trying to see if there was any markings on it. It does say a mark on the front, and of course, oh, it's universal, it says. So, yeah, but I can get that to, there we go. And it's got a little bit of red there, too. So I was like, ha -ha, this is awesome. And it was way up high on a shelf, and I had to ask the lady to get it down, which I don't like to do because I don't like to be a bother. But I was like, I've got to have that. Because I could see the tag and the tag only read $15. I'm like, that is a steal. An absolute steal. In this area, for a scale like this, anywhere else it probably would have been like $45. Even in this, you know, pretty rusty state. So... I'm super thrilled. So I have one more thing to share with you. And this one is so cool, you guys. I am just thrilled about it. Um, I paid up for it. On the, well, I really have no idea. I know I spent $14 on it. And I have no idea if that is a good price or not. Because I've never seen one live, you know, in the wild, ever. Ever. So when I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. I can't just pass it up. And it is a vintage 
dustpan with a handle, a really long handle. And look at it. It is so cool. It's white. It would have been perfect if the flowers had been red, but they are orange and green. But that's okay. I love it anyways, and I think it'll be fine. But yeah, so you like, it moves like this. So you just use it, sweep your dirt in there, and then dump it out. And I think it is awesome. <laughs> so anyways, I am super thrilled about this. I think it is like super, super cool. And I am so thrilled to have found it. I am going to hang it on the hooks in my kitchen. And I think it is going to look so adorable. Um, I was thinking, I, may, I mean, it's in really good shape still. I could still, I could actually use it. It is really good. I mean, in really good shape. It's got a little bit of scratches on the side. Like, but the top, I mean, you know, it's got some wear and tear. But it's not dented, it's not bent, and I think it's awesome. So I thought I could use it, of course, but I'm thinking at Christmas time I could put like greenery in it and stuff like that and use it kind of as like a little basket. So I don't know. I just thought it would be really fun and add to, to my vintage vibes that I like to have in my kitchen very, very nicely. So couldn't be more thrilled with this item. Um, I'm not sure. The handle's awful short. It's for short people, that's for sure. But that's okay. I do not care. I love it, love it, love it. So, so that is it, you guys. That is what I went hog wild over this last week when I went to the barn sale and to the antique stores. So I feel like I got some really good bargains and some amazing items to add to my house. I had so much fun shopping and I had even more fun sharing it with you guys. <laughs> so if you are still here, I know this video is super duper long. I appreciate it. And um, it's nice of you to stay in there for the long haul through this video. I appreciate it so, so, so much. I would love to know down in the comments which of the items I picked up today would have been your favorites. So if we were shopping together, which of the items I picked up today would we have had to have a fight over? I would love to know down in the comments. And of course, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not done so already. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.